folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday from Japan. Today's video is going to have nothing to do with fish. I'm not even going to mention the word fish, or guppy, or angelfish, or platy, live bear, oscar, pleco, none of those. Nope. Today, I'm going to show you what it's like to take the train in Japan. Not in Tokyo, although we did pull into Tokyo. Maybe I'll do another video uh, of a train ride in Tokyo during rush hour, because it's kind of crazy if you're not used to it or you don't know what it is. So stay tuned for a train ride from Japan. See you later. Hey folks, just so you know uh, kind of where we're going and where we're coming from, I was in Guma Prefecture, uh, pretty much at the Ota train station where the Subaru factory in the office where I go is right near there. It's kind of the countryside. Then we take about a two hour train ride down into Tokyo and uh, the part of Tokyo I like to stay at is Shibuya. Uh, the Shibuya crossing is pretty famous. It's in a lot of movies. If you Google it, you'll see it. Maybe I'll do a video on it. So here comes the train ride. So like I said, this is the countryside and there's a lot of rice paddies. There's a lot of farms. Um, as we go more south towards Tokyo, uh, you can see buildings get bigger and there's more traffic but pretty much in all of Japan the cars are small for the most part uh, because it's a very small country with a lot of people in it so uh, the houses I like the style of the houses it's your typical Japanese style house it's got the tile roofs um, if you watch the video there's a lot of you'll see a lot of solar panels um, it appears that there's a lot of sharing of uh, green space uh, but everyone's lawn looks fantastic if there is lawn or any landscaping looks great it's a very clean and neat country just recently I have seen some uh, some graffiti but I hadn't seen that uh, the first couple times I came um, people live very close to the train uh, it is an everyday part of life here in Japan Many, many, many people don't have a car, and if they do, um, they only use it, you know, on weekends or sparingly because gas is expensive and stuff, and it's so easy to use the train. They do make it very easy. Um, it's kind of funny. I was with a colleague of mine. Neither of us really speak Japanese. I speak a little Japanese, enough to get around. I can usually communicate my point, and uh, I, I sometimes I understand what they're saying, um, but when we got to the train station neither of us really knew where we were going we just kind of do it so often but you were, we're usually with somebody who speaks japanese so we don't you know normally ask for tickets they just tell us how much it is we give them the yen and, and we're done so it was a little of an ordeal but you know we got on the train we got on the right train which is always a plus and uh, you can see here a lot of rice patties um I think families grow their own rice and there might be some like sharing of crops here but uh, a lot of greenhouses a lot of rice a lot of gardens and stuff um, it's just beautiful and obviously the trains kind of go in the plains uh, but off off to the left here are, are big mountains you can't really see them i guess but beautiful country very neat Everything seems to be laid out with a purpose. Um, even if you look at the farms or you see little waterways, you know, the water is diverted purposely and used very efficiently. Um, the roads are pretty narrow, and of course, they drive if you're from the United States or pretty much everywhere in the world but an island or England. Oh, here's the back of the seat, and there is a lot of English in Japan. Um, so this is just, you know, telling you about the cars and, and so on and so forth. There's the, I don't know if you call him the conductor, but he did check my ticket. This particular train has assigned seats. I didn't sit in my assigned seat because it was right next to my colleague. We're both big fat guys. So I took another seat, so he had to fix it. Um, these seats actually turn around. It's a bench seat, sort of. It's actually two buckets in a bench, you know, but they turn around, um, which is kind of nice. If you're traveling long distance with your friends, you can certainly see them, so. Uh, again, more farms and rice paddies, and you can see some industrial buildings popping up here and there. We're obviously getting closer. There's a big solar right there. We're obviously getting closer to Tokyo. Um, I love the style of houses that I said, as I said. <clears throat> um, 
not a lot of grass, but a lot of green stuff. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I see a lot of houses with fences around them. It's sort of, I'm guessing it's sort of, hey, this is my house, this is my space. Um, you know, not keep out, but keep out. Um, there was, I don't know if you saw that waterway, but you know, it's just water to uh, help people with farming and so on and so forth. So. Um, we're getting closer to Tokyo, as I said, and so the houses are getting a little more close together, a little crowd, more crowded, there's a little bit more traffic. Um, but if you sort of look at like the telephone poles, they're metal, they're not wood. And everything looks big and beefy, and that's because they have earthquakes in Japan. So, all right, we're coming up to uh, where I actually stopped filming this leg of the trip. This was a special sort of train. Um, and then we get to a station and we transfer to a regular uh, train like you'd see in the city. Here it is. Um, those four people didn't know I was filming. Hopefully none of them watch and get mad. But So uh, we are, this is actually Tokyo. Tokyo is huge. Um, the, the land is very spread out. You can go an hour and a half from the center of Tokyo in any direction, still be in Tokyo. It's just so big and spread out. But uh, I think we here we just pulled into a station and, and you can see all the people coming from Tokyo going out to the countryside. That train is packed. That's a normal train. It, it was about 4.45 on Friday when I filmed this. Um, if you're in the United States, uh, if you're in on the East Coast, Currently, it's 13 hours ahead, so as my friend Liz says, I'm from the future. That's just a shot of the train station, the platform, and, and you know, a regular train. I don't know if you guys take trains in the, in the States or anywhere in the world, but it's just a regular train in Japan. It's very common. Uh, this is the JR line. JR is one of the biggest, I think the biggest, probably, uh, train company in Japan. It's what I take most of the time, um, just because where I go is... is they are. They just go everywhere where I need to go. So, all right, now we're taking off from the station, and uh, you can see how much more crowded it is as we're in Tokyo. This is about probably the whole trip. I think is about 106 kilometers, about 60 miles. Um, but I mean, look, big buildings, lots of traffic, uh, small roads. It's a city. We're we're in the city. A lot of these buildings are, are like that. They have little outdoor spaces like little terraces and almost everyone has some potted plants or something like that also if you notice there's every building has an outside uh, egress because if there's an earthquake uh, the elevators aren't going to work and a lot of times they, in theory the inside of the buildings could be damaged so there's very heavy duty stairways on the outside um, that bridge right there that, that we're seeing that's more trains a lot of trains in Japan, as I said. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, I think we're coming to the end of the video pretty soon, but kind of rambling on about Tokyo and Japan. And I mean, if you guys watch our channel, you know I go to Japan twice a year. I'm actually going again in August for two weeks for some training, so that'll be pretty exciting. But um, it's a great country. It's clean. It's safe. Like I said, I don't speak the language, but I know enough to get around usually communicate my point and there is a lot of English and as we call it here in Japan Google Sensei is very smart and can help you get pretty much anywhere you want to go so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it's a little bit something different but I don't have any fish videos to put up and a lot of people kind of asked me about Japan so I figured I would just show this video about what it is to ride on a train uh, if you did stay to the end, I am going to have some fish room, some fish store tours from Japan coming up this weekend. Tomorrow, Saturday, I plan to go to two different ones, about an hour, hour and a half away. So, fishy folks, hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com, and happy Fry Fry Friday.